In this lesson, we will study about four important iterator functions that are defined in STL. So first one is begin. So it returns the iterator to the beginning of the container. So if we have a vector v, so let's say this is the vector and we call v dot begin. So this will return the iterator to first element of the container. Let's say it is this, then it is pointing to this. So we can dereference it and also print it. So if we print this value, it should print one. And we will see uh, a running code with these functions. So first let's understand this. So it's very simple. Begin points to the first element or the beginning of the container. And similarly we have end, but unlike begin, it does not point to the end of the container, but instead it returns an iterator to the element following the last element. So seven is the last element and following this assume there is an imaginary element which is actually not there in the container. So end will return an iterator pointing to this and the way to call this is also very similar v dot end v is the container. So this is the difference. So what if the container is empty that it, it, it does not have any element. So you can think of it as a straight line. There is nothing here. So begin will be same as end. So if begin is same as end, then the container is empty. And uh, this element acts as a placeholder and attempting to access it results in undefined behavior. And we will see an example of this. What happens if we try to access or try to dereference this? So let's say this is it. So if we dereference it, what will happen? Dereferencing the begin is very simple. It's pointing to the first element. So it should return always the first element. But in this case, it can return different values. It's undefined depending on what is stored here at this location. Next, these were for forward iterators. Some containers also support reverse iterators. Not all the containers support. For example, if we have forward list, then this is the singly linked list and it's not expected to support the reverse uh, reverse iterator that is traversing from end to begin. So let's see those two other functions which are very similar to the begin and end. So begin return the first element iterator to the first element. Similarly, R begins means we are dealing with reverse iterators and reverse iterators traverse in reverse direction. So while traversing in the reverse direction, it's very similar to forward iterators where uh, it will return an iterator pointing to this element. So this is our begin. First element in the reverse direction, that is last element of the container. And if we dereference it, then it should print seven. And very similar to that, you might have guessed uh, our end returns a reverse iterator pointing to the theoretical element right before the first element. So this is the first element container address starts from here. But if we assume there is a theoretical element before this, then our end will point here. And again, we should not try to dereference this. So let's uh, write the code where we will see examples of all the four and we will select vector as an example where all the four functions will be supported since we can traverse in this direction as well as reverse direction. So we have this uh, vector. It has seven elements. So first let's print v dot begin and we will dereference it. v dot begin and let's dereference it. So what it should print, it should print one. So let's see. And it prints one as expected. Now we will do the same for all the other four. So begin and this is end. and then r begin and r so let's see what happens
so it gives 0 so this is clearly expected to give 1 which it gives 7 r begin is expected to give 7 in all the cases and it's valid but these are giving 0 but uh, that means after 7 it's reading 0 uh, whatever is the bit pattern so let's try to change that let's take an integer pointer x and let uh, this pointer is pointing to the last element of this vector so address of v6 so this is pointing to this so we do x plus plus now it's pointing to next 4 bytes if integer is 4 bytes and then we set the value equal to let's say minus 50 so we have set the address after this to minus 50 now let's see what uh, v dot end dereferences to so before that we will do this so we change the value after 7 and now we try to dereference v end so now it's reading minus 50 so you see earlier it was reading 0 now it's showing minus 50 so so it's uh, the point that i'm trying to make is that uh, you should not try to dereference it it's undefined these are only used to for certain find and in certain algorithms for example let's say you have inserted some keys in a unordered set and you want to check whether it's present or not so you will write that that set dot find that key is equal to set name dot end that means it reached the end of the it reached uh, it traversed the complete set and it went past that where the end is pointing and it did not find it so that that's used for those checks and not you should not try to dereference these similarly you should not try to dereference r end so you can also play with this try to uh, get the address of first first element subtract that memory point that pointer to point before this and you can change the value and you you can see that it either crashes or it, it will give you that value so these are the four uh, important STL functions which return iterators so I hope uh, you make good use of these